So this question is a simplify question. I know that because it's short, simplified questions are typically between one and three lines long. And I also know that because of the expression that's provided here. So what I'm going to do and what I suggest you do is to write down the expression for yourself. Never just rely on reading it from the question. So write down the actual expression yourself. And then what I'm going to do in this particular question is notice that the answer choices are all in radical form, which I'm not in currently. And also, none of the answers have negative exponents, which I do have. So I'm going to just move things around, um, you know, the terms that have negative exponents, and I'm going to convert my variables that have fraction exponents into radical form. So let's do that step by step. So this x to the negative second power here should actually go down into the denominator as x to the positive second power because that's what a negative exponent does. If you're on the, in the numerator, you move down. If you're, if you're in, in the denominator, you move up. I'm going to take this y to the one-half power there and just rewrite that as a square root of y because one-half power means square root. And then for the bottom, I'm going to take this y to the negative first power. And again, like I said, with the x term, I'm going to move that y value up, right? No need to say first power there because it's assumed. And then lastly, this x to the one-third power, I'm going to turn that into radical form, which would be the cube root of x. So that is my, uh, my simplified version, at least... Um, in a way that I have only positive exponents and radical exponents instead of fractional exponents. So I'll take a look to see if any of the answers match up with what I have. And as I scan this, it seems to be yes, I do. So th this here is answer choice 